Hey everybody, we're joined right now by April St. Pierre. She has an absolutely incredible, incredible story. I wanna go through and talk to her about this. This is for business communication class at John Hopkins, but I think this is absolutely appropriate and important for anyone and everyone out there who's in the job market, thinking about stuff, just trying to advance themselves. April, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's go step one. Tell us a little bit about your life and what got you to write that letter to get the internship with Jeffers. Yeah, um, so um, after getting the internship at Jeffries, I was presented with a prompt. Um, every intern in their um, company has to actually write this letter. So it's, it's mandatory, you have to do it. Um, so that was really cool because we all kind of got to compete against each other and you know take it a step further. Um, so now, two quick questions. One, yeah, are you, is it okay? Are you are you um, okay if we show this letter on screen while you're talking about that so we can sort of reference it? Sure. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Let me do that. And then number okay. number two, how did you get to Jeffries? What made you? approach Jeffries and how did you get that internship and then let's get into the letter. Yeah, okay. So um, I, well, I'm from Southern Maine, so I live over in, in York. It's a very touristy town um, and <laughs> there is, um, there's this lady that works for Jeffries and she kept coming back with her family every year and um, after a couple of years I started to get to know her uh, through work and everything and she told me what she did and I was just like, wow, I'm actually in school for that right now, and I would, I would really like to talk to you more about what you do, um, get some info on how the industry is, and then I needed an internship to graduate, as a lot of us do, so um, I asked her if she knew anybody, if she knew, I wasn't even looking to be at Jeffries because I didn't think that was even going to be possible like at that time. <laughs> so. Right. She actually um, approached me because her assistant had left. Nice. So that it was kind of a timing thing. Right. But at the same time, what really, really worked is I was very open about her or to her about what I like and what I'm interested in, and just I just kept talking. You have to just keep like <laughs> right. You know, when make you, a connection. So yeah, make a connection when you meet someone that is in that like level of a company, you know, that I didn't really understand the height of Jeffries at the time and what they actually do. Now, what was um, her position at Jeffries? So she is um, the head of um, equity sales, the nice. research sales team. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so, so to set the stage really quick, if I understand your story, and I want you to elaborate on that. Here you yeah. are, Southern Maine, you're going to school, you actually, I think, if I read that right, I don't want to, you know, jump too far ahead. You had started raising your brother on your own at 16. You had a number of jobs, one of which you were doing some bartending and stuff. And you're going to school, and I want you to talk about that. And you meet this lady. Now, here's an opportunity to meet someone who's doing something at some big Wall Street firm, maybe based out of Boston. Is that correct? Run with that. Yes. So that's pretty much exactly what happened. Um, I, I've helped my brother out a lot, i worked a ton, um, and I just, I just kept moving, I just kept working, you know, as hard as I could, and yeah. um, I really wanted to finish this degree, um, that's a big goal for me, so um, just kind of working at all these different restaurants and different um, uh, bartending jobs, I was able to meet her and her family. You go out and you apply to these internships. How many did you apply and how did you get into Jeffries? So I applied um, to quite a few. Honestly, I want to say at least 30 to 40 internships. I just applied to everyone that I could find, really. <laughs> and I also uh, sent her my resume and a cover letter and I said, if you're interested, I wouldn't mind learning more about what you do. I know we have talked briefly a couple times, um, but I, at the same time, I'd still like to see like the scale of what you do. And um, just the timing of her situation with her team and her assistant leaving and everything, it kind of worked out that she was able to ask if they could have an intern in the Boston office because 
normally they're in the New York office. So um, it, it really worked out and the company was actually like, this is a great idea. Let's have interns in Boston, you know, why not? So um, then I came in and met the team and I just pretty much told them, I'm here to learn. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. And they, they loved it. So that's amazing. No, that's amazing. <laughs> So you took so in so trying to put this to the, to the class a little bit. You basically met someone. You took an opportunity. You'd been working. You'd been thinking about it. You're like far out of that scene. But here is a chance for you to get in there. You kind of because of your situation, it's almost like it sounds like you sort of changed the way they did business with the internships now in Boston, and yeah. then. They offered you this, but logistically it was still hard. I think I saw something like it's three or four hours for you to get there. Yes, so um, where I'm located, it takes me about 20 minutes to get to the bus that brings you into South Station um, in Boston. And um, that takes about almost an hour and 45 minutes. So it takes me a little over two hours each way. You do the internship, it's going great, you're excited. Jeffries has this thing where you they all write letters, the interns write letters about their experience, and yours wins. Tell me about that, tell me about what motivated you to say what you said. Um, so I was talking to the team and they have seen letters from previous years. So I was like, how does this usually go? What do, what do people usually write about? Like, I don't wanna be too technical or too academic. Like, I kind of want to just be myself. Is that okay? Or should I kind of be more academic? Would that win? Like, you know, <laughs> I'll put them in. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah, of course you'll win. <laughs> um, and they were like, oh, just be yourself. And, you know, just get it done. Just show, show your experience here and what we've done for you. So I sat down and I rewrote this letter probably, like, six, seven times at least. That was like so many drafts on my computer. <laughs> oh my and God. It was just like one of those things where I was like, I don't want to go into myself too much. I really want to go into how my hard work has finally paid off and how I've finally been able to experience what I wanted to experience um, and see the big picture and really, really learn something because although school is great, if you don't get that real life experience, you really need to do as many internships as you can. And um, I was just so lucky to be able to get the experience I did with them. So that's really what I tried to focus on was how my hard work has uh, brought me to that point and how even just, you know, riding on the bus and taking all this time oh, yeah. out of my life just, did, just didn't matter. It, it was the fact of what I was getting out of it was so huge. What, so. what really resonated with me about your letter was you were competing, if you will, against, in getting the internship and then this letter thing against, to correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure students from Harvard, Yale, NYU, Columbia with this level of firm. And here you yeah. are, I mean, what, what, what school were you going to or are you going to in Maine? Yep, yeah, um, it's the University of New England. So it's, it's in Biddeford, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure it's a great school, but it's a little different, right? I mean, and Very so yeah. many times in life, you, at, this, at the high, high levels of business and, 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 and academia and stuff like that that I've, I've touched at various points in my life, if you don't fit the check boxes, if you will, of being at the best school with the best grades, with the best recommendations, or being at the best firms to prepare you for these other firms or experiences, you don't even get a chance. You don't even get to talk to people. You don't even get in the door. So, I mean, I do, I do understand that there was this meeting that you had and there was some serendipity. But I think that you were able, with your business communication and your willingness to take a risk, were, you were able to break through the noise and touch someone. And your letter was so absolutely real of your life, and it made a really huge impact. And I think that it just, it, it just that, that it's so raw and so real, and I think so powerful. And I think that's what makes it so sort of salient and impressive for people. Am, am I getting this right or am I getting this wrong? It, it's totally right. Um, I think you need to be you need to be honest, and um, as long as you communicate honestly and effectively, um, you really you can do something. <laughs> no, absolutely. That's, that's exactly 
what happened. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I was going to say something. I remember, and I don't want to get too into it, I want the folks to be on you, but I remember there's a couple times in my life where I was able to get on a TV show, get on a major market radio show, whatever, not because I worked my way up 20 years in the system and went to this state and that small state, whatever. I picked up the phone and I was able to make a connection with someone that I never met before. And in that short time, I was able to do the same type of thing, break through and demonstrate the ability that I had and it worked out. And there's different things like that. So when I saw your thing, I'm like, I get it. I, that makes, this, this speaks to me and I think it speaks to a real spirit and a power that you have. And I think that's very, very inspiring. How would Thank you share with other people how they can do that maybe for themselves? You just have to take chances on yourself as well. Um, put yourself out there. It can be a little uncomfortable to just pick up the phone and talk to someone you have no idea about. You know, you, you don't know anything about them. You, you just really want to try to connect in some way. but. You have to make it work on what you know. Um, so I think instincts come into play as well and just kind of um, trying to put your best foot forward and just show the best parts about yourself can really help as well. Um, so that's kind of what I tried to do was just <laughs> just try to show, hey look, I'm very hardworking, I understand. I might not go into an Ivy League school, but I do very, very well at the school I'm in, and I'm trying, and I would love to do whatever I can for you and your company. So I think it's just like things like that is what I really try to suppress to these people. For employers, I also suggest not necessarily looking at the school that they went to, but looking at um, maybe the transcript and just kind of um, diving into that a little bit more and also just kind of seeing their personality and if they're if that like I said that eagerness is there and if you know giving people a chance really can change um, the feel of like a desk or a team so they it could be that one person that brings in so much motivation to the whole team um, so I think that's very important to just really sit down and meet with people and take the time and not just bring them because they graduated from an Ivy League school. So really check people's personalities before um, just hiring. So. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. Yeah. I really, really appreciate the time. April, you are amazing. We're fired up about it. We wish you the very best of luck and, and we appreciate you sharing your story with us. Everybody. For uh, April, I'm John. I hope you appreciate that. This was a real, real life situation here that I think everybody can learn from, uh, both employers and students and individuals out there about communicating, taking a chance, going forward, being dedicated, and the payoff that that can have in your life. Really hope you appreciate this. I'm John D. Villarreal for April St. Pierre. See you next time.